Suggestology or Reservology is the science of the hidden reserves of the brain. Probably you know that uh, according to the last few ten years of researches, we use under 1% of our brain capacities. So the other 99% are our, are our reserve capacities. And many of us experience such a kind of states uh, in which we are spontaneously absorbing a lot of information for five minutes, for example, not for five hours. Few people uh, experience those states probably each day, but how, how can we do it more easily? Well, I suggest playing a game. Do you want? Do you have good memory? Do you think that your memory can be improved? Okay, I can show you the oldest memory game in the world. Do you, do you want? Because I'm not seeing you. Yes, okay, great. So, the game is really simple. I will give you 21 words in interval of five seconds, and the idea is to remember them, connecting them in a story. But the key, the key thing is the story to be really, really unusual, emotional, vivid, colorful, and that. So, are you ready? 21 words. So, uh, do you have pen or something like that? Probably you, you have uh, pencils. Dumite se mi tuk. Dumite se mi na prezentaciji. Sled to. So five five seconds intervals. Twenty one words. The idea is to connect the words in a story and after that to write down the story as you remember it. There is no matter how the words are ordered or what is the story. The idea is to be really unusual, really emotional, okay? So I'm starting. Have a the words down after that, after reading the 20 words, you you start writing the whole story. Okay? Have a nice game. First one is bicycle. Reservology. Love. Uzanov. Freedom. Gateva. Magic. Volume. Dream. Hogram. Relaxation. Proportion. Map. Art. Question. Prestige. Focus. Superman. Collaboration. Spider. And suggestion. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Mason probably told you, but there is a award for some of you reading your story. So, is there anyone that wants to read his story? Okay. Okay. Come. Or probably I can give you the mic.
All right. Should I start reading it? All right. Danik was riding a bike, feeling reserve, reserved for, uh, about his love for Lewandowski. Uh, while he was riding, he fell in a deep relaxation, dreaming about the map of Skyrim and questioning the prestige of the game. He suddenly started thinking about Superman. When a friend of his joined him, his friend loves spiders, he even had one. That's all. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you very much. And is there another story? Don't be shy. I saw that you wrote a what? Huh? No, no, no. Okay, so just one story. The story is ancient technique, how to remember better. And actually, you can remember everything, even uh, mathematics, physics, or some things that are really not very storyable. But uh, if you put imagination and uh, a lot of laughter and a lot of uh, emotions, you will remember it forever, probably. I'm here to tell you a few more ways how to learn and read better. And I'm going to tell you two stories about uh, Dr. Rozanov and Dr. Gateva, who actually uh, was our teachers. I have the honor to uh, be a student of uh, Dr. Rozanov in 2012, six months before he died. Uh, I was just uh, starting my fourth uh, company and I was in a something like a relaxation mode and I met him on a, in a Hilton in a big uh, conference about learning. He was in an armchair, he actually uh, wasn't very good uh, with his health, but uh, he was putting all his energy, his uh, heart in uh, mm, make, helping people how to unlock their hidden potential. He actually invented not only the science of the hidden reserves, which is reservology, but he actually invented the reservopedia. This is a pedagogical form of art, which is, according to UNESCO, the most innovative learning methodology in the world. In 1978, about 20 scientists from all over the world, uh, uh, physicians, pedago a, lot of, a lot of people came to Bulgaria for one month and they watched uh, the language courses for uh, big people and for children, uh, reading and uh, elementary courses. And they saw that this is actually the best uh, method in the world because th is, this is actually not method for learning. This is method from freeing you from your suggestions. For example, you can have suggestion that your mind, your memory is not good, or you're not creative, or you cannot think, or you cannot dance. And his way is not to uh, suggest you or hypnotize you that you're a great dancer or a great actor. Probably that will work for a while, but the idea is to free you from all your suggestions that are keeping you from not doing these results. So UNESCO was actually really amazed and suggested that uh, this methodology uh, should be implemented in all over the world, in all countries, in all schools, in all students. And that actually happened in uh, a lot of places in the world. But here in Bulgaria, a lot of people do not know who is Dr. Ruzanov and what is Reservopedia. How many of you have heard about the method before that? Okay, two, three, five. Great, great. That's good for you. Mm. I'm here to tell you three things to be proud of. Uh, that you're Bulgarian, connected and with Dr. Ozanov, and three things about Dr. Gateva. The second thing is very amazing. He's the first man in the world conducting operation, bloodless and painless, for 50 minutes hernia operation, in which he took place not as a uh, doctor, but as the man who kept the patient only with speaking for 50 minutes to be operated without any anesthesia, without any blood flowing, without any pain. And there is actually video evidence in which you can see how the other doctors are operating the patient and he's awake, he's speaking with Dr. Rozanov, he's actually smiling. And before Dr. Ruzanov, there was about 1,000 operations without pain and without blood in a wakeful state, but with hypnosis. 
Dr. Uzanov is the first man in Bulgaria who uh, started to use hypnosis and he's the first to say that this is wrong. Because hypnosis is uh, not good for the health, it is not psychohygienic, it is not uh, psychologically clear. And when you use hypnosis, uh, probably uh, teaching somebody, saying do that, do this, and saying you should, you, using uh, direct suggestions, you're actually reducing their creativity. You're actually making them not very relaxed. You're actually not teaching them, but the opposite. So he used this method of desuggestion, of freeing people of suggestion. For In this operation, the suggestion was that there will be blood and there will be pain. <laughs> and he showed that there is no blood, there is no pain, and you're really all right. And the amazing thing that w the, was that the scar from the operation uh, healed three times faster than the normal and according to me this is pretty pretty amazing the third thing is the so-called big experiment in 1965 1966 the operation was 65 when 15 people from very different professions doctors uh, teachers government uh, scientists and so on weren't 1,000 words, French, with, for one night, with 97% comprehension. F in 15 people, there are just one, returning 930 words, 93%. Remembering, there are fi four or five with 100%, 1,000 from 1,000 words. If you ask them, how, how did you do that? They, they say, I don't know, I just, I just know the words. And after that, uh, Todor Zhivkov told him, uh, if you learn Ludmila to speak English in five weeks, I will make you institute. So he learned Ludmila, she went to London, and after that, <laughs> Todor Zhivkov made uh, the first in the world uh, scientific institute about suggestology. And actually, I know that just one of the rooms was equipped with uh, technology which costed about one hundred thousand dollars this is 1966 so we had the the greatest equipment the greatest minds and why we are not very very ahead now very educated I think that the answer is that you need not only science but art you need not only brain but heart you need not only uh, thinking but acting you can use your reserves with three simple actions. Dance, while move, sing, while speak, and draw, while write. My partner Silvio Ordanova and I were personally trained by Dr. Rozanov, and I actually started to uh, just make three, four courses before creating technology based on the method. And four years later, and 97 more courses and 1,000 people. I can honestly say that I'm not sure that uh, I can stop teaching. Before that, according to me, it was insane for me to be a teacher. But now it is so good to read with people, dance, sing, and uh, play games, 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 that I'm actually not working. I'm I'm playing, but do you know that when you dance, when you draw, or when you sing, your brain is actually entering the so-called uh, increased receptivity states. But many, many people around the world think that uh, you can reach those states via meditation or, uh, I don't know, ascending, something like that, or a lot of uh, Eastern or other kinds of methods which are suggestive, which are direct. According to me, this is not the case. If you're trying to concentrate, for example, you're not concentrated. You're concentrated when the time flows and you don't have idea how the time passed. So next time when you are learning, when you're reading, when, when it is not, not so nice, just start singing, start drawing, or more, start dancing. There is a great app, actually, that can help you 
dance and dance while you're learning. I, I saw a lot of people dancing at their offices. I mean, at the beginning, it was not very, mm, <laughs> very serious to dance while you're at the office. And after that, when I introduced to them, you can see the whole, mm, the whole team dancing using this app. So I would like to invite you just to dance a little bit. It is a pretty, pretty uh, good song. Yeah, you're stretching. Okay, there is the, the song is uh, and the dance is selected, so you don't need to move so much, so you have space enough. Now it is coming the dance, but I'm interested. I probably cannot cannot tell you before, show you before that. But do you have any questions? I know that this is not right to ask questions, but I'm so curious about yes. Thank you for this question. Mm, there is a one rule called golden proportion or Fibonacci numbers. How many of you know what is Fibonacci? Okay, great. And if you put the picture, and it, if it is 62 or 70 percent, and the words, the text is with the white spaces are 30 percent, for example, you are emphasizing not on the words but on the pictures. No matter what are the pictures, there are probably creative connection associations with them. But you're showing the, the attention on the picture and the word is entering from the back door. This is probably the key because uh, uh, when I teach people how to read without reading or how to learn without learning, the key is uh, teaching them how to not read or not learn, but how to draw. And uh, if you want to uh, learn 20 French words, for example, don't. Don't try to write them down 20 times, for example. But the better one is uh, to draw 20 uh, pictures with those words and to put the words under the picture. But the, the main thing is the picture and the word is coming like, like suggestion. So uh, try next time not to learn, but this is actually the room number. You can, uh, those of you that has the app can enter. Uh, try not to learn, but to draw. Try to sync the words that you're trying to, to remember. Try to, yeah, story always works. But mo most of all, remember that uh, the really genius things, they're simple one. They're really not so, not so hard. For example, dancing. Are you ready? Here it is, just dance. Yo, it's David Corey and Mono Block. Let's kick it to the world. Full my life, man. Ah. Probably this is the time to tell you the three things that I would like to remember from my talk. Just dance while move, sing while speak, and draw while write. Thank you.